That's right, boys and girls, another happy Tuesday in November, getting closer to Thanksgiving. You know what that means, another side dish. Today I'm gonna do a cauliflower gratin. It's a roasted cauliflower gratin with white cheddar cheese, garlic, shallots. We're going to finish this with a little heavy cream. We're gonna to top it off with some breadcrumbs and we're gonna bake it in the oven. But first, we need to prepare the cauliflower. I took a cauliflower head and cut it in half. I'm gonna take off all this green stuff that nobody eats, but I wanna keep the stem. You'll see why in a minute. First, we need to put this in the water. Right now, I have a pot of boiling salted water. We're gonna take our whole cauliflower half and pop it in. We're gonna give that about four or five minutes just to get soft. I already took the other half and cooked it. I'm gonna use this big chunk that came with the cauliflower as a handle so I don't burn myself. And I wanted to dry it out so that the oil, you know, oil and water, you know what happens when it gets hot? That's right, it splashes. So I'm gonna try my best not to splash everybody with hot oil. So I got a saute pan sitting next to my water here with oil in it. And then we're gonna pop this cauliflower with the florets oil down. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get some color on the florets. And then we're gonna take it off of this, off the core. And then we're gonna make a gratin out of it. We're gonna make a little cheese sauce. See, we're looking for some color. Color is flavor. I want to do that with the whole thing. Again, that's why I left a chunk on there, so I have a handle to hang on to it all over. We want this to taste like fall. We want to have that nice, roasty, toasty, nutty flavor. See that? It takes a little while, but family's worth it. Now that we have our cauliflower nice and brown all over, we're gonna transfer it back to the plate that we were drying it on, because we wanna dry it off again, get some of that oil off of it. And then we're gonna bring it to the cutting board and we're gonna take off the florets. So it's just cut around, and it'll pop right off. I blanched it already, remember, so it is half cooked. Now we're gonna take some florets in and around. We wanna make them in and around the same size so that they all cook the same times. Now, we're gonna make our, our cheese sauce for the gratin. It's garlic and shallots, oil. Put a little salt in it. You wanna bleed the shallots and garlic. We don't wanna give them too much color. We don't wanna take away from the beauty of the cauliflower. We're gonna give that a little sweat. And then we're gonna throw our cauliflower in. Toss it up. I'm gonna add some heavy cream. Get that all together there. I'm gonna dust it with a little bit of flour just to hold it all together, just a little bit. Just to give me a little thick. See that nice and brown and toasty? See the bubbles getting thick? That's what we're looking for. Then we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna grab our oven safe bowl. Get all the sauce, get all the good out of it. And then we're gonna top it off with some white cheddar cheese. And a little bit of breadcrumbs. Give it that final little crunch. And then right in the oven, about 15 minutes. See you a little bit, my baby. All right, so our 15 minutes is about up. 16, maybe. Let's see what it look like here. Oh, my goodness. Look at all that bubbly yumminess of delicious delightfulness. Look at that. That is a cauliflower gratin, if I've ever seen one. Pop that on the plate. A non-traditional, traditional Thanksgiving my way.